that is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Just getting into the woods here. It's about 3.30, 3 45. It's really hot. I'm going in in shorts. Cause I don't feel like staying hot and I want to dry out once I get in the stand. But nobody's been back in here. Haven't seen any footprints. Haven't checked these cameras in three weeks. Actually a month now. So we're gonna get in. We're gonna set up where I have some cameras on what looked like some bedding and scrapes. I'm not sure if it was bedding. And uh, we're gonna sit the night and just do a lot of glass and see what happens. All right, well, I'm about halfway to the spot. Just checked one of my cameras, had buck coming by a little basket rack, six point every couple of days. It's 103 out. It's hot. All right, well, based off the sign on the camera I'm setting up by, there's beds all around me and these bucks are coming by this point bedding. This is just a perfect spot. Literally. That's a bed right there. Bedding there all the time. Let's see if we can kill them. property and so far um, we found one area that we want to go check out so we're gonna get boots on the ground and go take a look in there and uh, it looks like the predicted movement according to the moon phase is right around noon it's pretty much this little area back here that we're gonna walk and we're gonna try to see if we can find any hot trails that they're using and maybe find an intersection but this little strip of trees here as you can see it's open on both sides so if we get somewhat in the middle we'll be able to see a good area and the wind is going to be going directly north after one o'clock so if we got to put a stock on something um, we may be able to So we're at the base of the tree that we're gonna hunt. But it's gotta be like a hundred something degrees out here. And we just walked. We both started feeling like pretty uh, heat strokey. So we decided to take it easy, take a breather, hydrate, and cool back down before we go ahead and climb this tree. It's extremely hot. And uh, you can find yourself in some real trouble really fast if you're not careful. So when you're out here in these conditions, you need to listen to your body and don't rush things. Take it easy, take your time. You'll have a better time if you don't have the heat stroke, that's for sure. So what Luke is doing, using his water pack, his bladder pack, to put it on him. It's cool water, so it's cooling his core down. We're kind of feeding the mosquitoes for a little bit. And then we're gonna climb this tree, get all set up and pretty much stay here till the sun goes down.
a grueling, grueling setup. We're finally set up. Whatever the case is, we're on a really nice spot. We're sitting on a pond. There's some rubs out here in front of me. And behind Luke, behind Luke there's a big old flag pond. And then on this back side over here, it's kind of like a marsh. It's like a... mixed in with palmettos and there's loads and loads of little shrub oaks they're all mixed in there I see ball berries everything so hopefully the deers are making their way over here in the evening to feed we're gonna find out so far we haven't seen anything but we've only been set up for about 40 minutes the wind has been somewhat swirling it hasn't really been in any one direction so we're probably like 25 maybe 30 feet up um, so hopefully that works to our advantage my shooting lanes are right around 30 to 40 yards if they come down the trail that they've been rubbing on so we'll see what happens it's about 3 o'clock right now we're sitting until sun goes down, so we got a solid five hours of torture. This should be fun. Stay tuned. Well, typical Florida fashion. Wind's switching, now it's coming at my back. I thought I seen a deer, and uh, it's blowing like 15, 20 miles an hour right now. So, we'll see what happens. I just shot another buck. Nice buck. On film. <sighs> he ran 50 yards and dropped. Perfect shot. <sighs> Unbelievable. On go, bro. Hey, yo. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Unbelievable. Unfucking real. Excuse me. <sighs> I hit him with the. He stopped, postured up, and then he stepped out, and I shot him. He's dead right there. 
he ran 30 yards. All right. Oh, fuck. This is so quick recap. Like 15 minutes ago, Doe comes in from back here in these pines. Comes down in here. Little six point chasing her. Came right under the stand when I filmed him. I could have shot him. I was like, ah, he's, he's legal, but I know there's some better bucks in here. And I know there's a bigger one than the one I just shot, but that was too good of an opportunity to pass up. And he came 15 minutes later right down her line, and I grunted him to me with my mouth. Yeah! All right. Yeah, I'm a little adrenaline's worn off. So that buck came the same way, just like that doe and the other buck I filmed. Went right around here, right by my camera, and he stopped here. I hit him with a mouth grunt, just about postured up, got to right there, and I just, man, he fucking stopped, put the pin on him, he ran 50 yards, and he dropped right out there. Yeah, baby. All right, stands all dropped, we're right up there. I shot this deer right here. Hopefully I can find my arrow and brought it in, because I'd like to just rebuild it if it ain't destroyed. Perfect pass through. It's funny, I watched them go down. I'm sitting here looking for a blood trail, even though I knew I watched them go down. I was like, I can't be off this blood trail that much. Oh no. There is a clear blood trail right there, son. Like a blind squirrel could follow this. Hell yeah, son. That is hat done. So then the buck, the big buck starts chasing the doe. I cut into the into the thicket. So now I have cover and I'm belly crawling. As I'm belly crawling, I'm putting weight on my bow and my third axis shifted on my sight. <laughs> so I noticed it when I drew back, but I was already drawn back. I noticed my sight was off because in the picture on the on the sight, I saw the sight pushed out. So I'm I'm crawling, I'm crawling, I'm crawling, I get to some thick stuff, and I see this guy on the outside of the flag pond and I know the big buck is inside the flag pond so I literally just stood up inside the dog fennel and I started walking towards him and I can see my dad to my left and I started walking towards where I last seen him and on one of those when I look over he's looking at me and I'm 40 45 yards maybe but he's looking dead at me I was watching you so I drew back on him and I put my 40 yard pin like right here where the neck and the, and the back meet so if it drops it hits him in the chest and not it goes straight in there and when I shot I shot 